Hey everybody, this is Eric here, ADL's newest driver. I'm here on enjoying my vacation with my family here at the Bahamas. So I want to send y'all this. Have a good one. Peace. Guys, I don't know if you can see this now, but it's snowing. <laughs> Hey guys, Long Haul Larry here, Big Blue. We're just getting going from Reinhardt out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. We're all empty and out of there. Um, the video at the beginning of this is from Eric. Eric is the newest employee at ADL. He watched, is this my road? No. He watched my, uh, he been watch, he's a subscriber of my channel, and he thought that ADL seemed like just the dreamiest place to work. So he applied here and got a job. And he started about two weeks ago. And he's been driving, and he has the black Freightliner. That's the one he's driving. And then all of a sudden, I get a video, I get that video from him, and he's in the Bahamas. And I'm like, uh, what? I didn't know we took loads to the Bahamas. <laughs> He's down there on vacation, and I'm like, hmm, when did he take the vacation before he started working here? Then I started thinking about it. I'm kind of worried. I'm wondering if he's like thinking, oi, because I've had, I've had some people say comments about this. Have you gotten your bonus check yet? Because uh, John has advertised it. If you work here or start working here, you can get a $10,000 sign-on bonus. Well, what people don't understand is that you don't get a $10,000 sign-on bonus. Come on there, stop growling at me. I know it's kind of a high gear. I don't have to yell at me like that. But um, you don't get like a one check of $10,000. I mean, if that was the case, I mean, you just work until you get that one check and then you could quit. I mean, all the trucking companies give you these sign-on bonuses. This car is gonna try to cut in here. And so, whoa, 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 you got a green light, or you got a yield sign here, buddy. And you could just, um, you know, work here until you get your check and then move on to the next company and work there until you get your bonus check. You know, I mean, basically, you can work at a month at each place, so you got your bonus check, and then away you go. So, it's like, really, I mean, if you did that 12 times a year, <laughs> places that sign, do $10,000 sign-up bonuses, man, you can make $120,000 a year just with sign-up bonuses. So, that's not how it works. You you get paid here. It's different all the places, but here, you get paid quarterly. Like, see, I just got my first... Um, bonus check just a little while ago so I've been here working here for I think it's almost I think it's like four months cl real close to four months so you get paid every three months you get 2,500 bucks and a bonus um, so that's cool but I'm really worried that he was one of those people that was under the understanding that he was getting a ten thousand dollar sign-on bonus and he's thinking he's gonna get this ten thousand dollar truck uh, check because, man, he went to the Bahamas and he took his whole family with him. So, I hope he's got the cash and reserves. That check ain't gonna be there when you uh, get in your account here this week or next week. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. He's been sending me a few videos and stuff, so I'll put those videos on the front of a few videos here in the next few days and stuff. But um, I'm not going home. I am. I could if I want to, but I just don't see it. Uh, the main reason why is it's a long ways to my house. I mean, it's three to four hours, something like that. Maybe not quite that far, but it's pretty close. Um, I got to drive all the way across the state. And then I would have to turn around. I don't know what time my pickup is tomorrow, but then I'd have to turn around and come all the way back up another two hours almost up to Wassa. That's just a waste of a lot of fuel just to go home for an evening. And I don't know what time I pick up tomorrow. He hasn't given me that information yet. He said he'd get it to me later. But um, 
I decided I'm just gonna run up to um, Marathon, is where my next pickup is. And I'm just gonna run up there. I'm going to actually stop at a fleet farm, probably up in Wausau. There's one right off the exit there I know of. Um, I'm probably gonna stop up there and I'm gonna see if I can get a fitting for my air horn so I can hook that back up. And I'm probably going to um, get a few other little things I wanna do. And then um, a few other little parts and pieces I want. And then also, um, I think I can get the stuff and I can make my camera mounts in the truck here. Cause I got my drill with a set of drill bits with me. I think I can, I think I can make it happen. Because I have everything, all the equipment to hook up to do this multiple camera recording deal. You know, that I've spent the money all on it, but I just haven't had a time to mess with it. So I think I'm just gonna drive up there. I'll be up there before dark and uh, find myself a place to park and I think I'll get a few odds and ends done. Get a few things knocked out. Things worked on, a big blue. And, and uh, see what I can get done and then maybe just sit and mess with the computer and stuff like that. Get a few of those things that I need to get going done. So everything is all good. Uh, that load is, I didn't say that, I don't think. That load is going to be heading to Walmart in Terrell, Texas. So, that will be my next load. And plus this, by doing it this way too, this will save my hours. Because I'm, I'm kinda, I've been running recaps and running off hours and Things are low, so so we're gonna. This will save us our hours. That way, when we take off for Texas, we'll have good hours to take off and run with. So, otherwise than that, not too much. Um, I do have. I, I've had a few comments. I wanted to kind of put together a list and stuff. Um, somebody left a comment, I don't know what they're talking about, because of my seat, the back of my seat, it, it did this one other time, and I, I keep having to press down on it and wiggle it, and finally it locks into place. I just accidentally pulled the lever, and um, for the back of the seat to move, and when, once you do that, it doesn't seem like it likes to lock in. I've got to mess with it for a couple days. Oh, come on, XPO. And, um, and I said something in the video about, oh, my seat broke. Somebody left a comment. Seems like everything's broken on that truck. I would get get out of it and get in it and get into a new truck. <laughs> what, is, what is broke? I don't know what you're talking about. You get a little leaky hose or something? Is it, <laughs> you need to, to trade in a truck or what? I don't get that part. All right, we can get out of here now. I found that kind of humorous. Everything's breaking on that truck. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> um, I don't know. My mind's going blank right now. Let's see here. comments that made me think of something make made me think of a memory this wasn't my memory this was my father's and you guys will you know I was a, I was a rebel child I, I'll, I'll give you know I said these videos I was a rebel child it was I'm not kidding the neighborhood knew our name <laughs> we were I mean 
I would sit, I would sit out at the, there was a police, police officer that lived out there by us. And, well, he didn't live with bias, but he lived, he kind of patrolled that area. And he knew us, <laughs> I'll put it that way. He used to chase us all the time. It was like the Duke's Hazards or something. I do not pro promote any of this. And you know what the funniest thing is? My parents, I thought, I think they thought when I had kids, they were like, oh, you just wait, you're gonna get it, you're gonna see. And my girls basically were angels. <laughs> It was, it was so unfair. But um, I used to sit out and uh, sometimes when I'd, when I'd drive to school or catch a ride with a friend or something, I'd get home before the bus would come by. And the bus driver, he was, I got, I had this one guy for like three, two years, I think it was. And he was like a biker guy, had all these chains all hanging all over him and tattoos all up and down. And he was our bus driver. He was, he was crazy. And they used to have uh, races to the school between all the bus drivers and uh, whoever got to the bar after <laughs> after dropping all the kids off, the last person had to buy. <laughs> so they always raced the school. Does it sound terrible? Hey, you don't know the school I went to, okay? Um, but I used to, when I get home early, I would jump out. I had this, uh, this three-wheeler that was set up for racing. I used to race the three-wheelers. And um, the motor had been had been bored out, and uh, had all these racing tires on it. And it was just all set up, big exhausts on it. You know, it was all set up for racing. And this thing hauled pretty good. And I would sit down there, and I'd hear that bus go by, and he'd go down the road and turn around and come back. And every time he'd do that, I'd jump out on the, the three wheeler and I'd take off and go flying up a road as the bus was coming down and me and the bus driver we'd race down my road and i'd always beat him and this guy i don't know if somebody called or what but then a cop started coming out there and he would sit there and wait for me and he he would see me and flip on the lights and sirens are going on i'd be like oh i'd wave to the bus driver Rawr, we'll take off through the ditches and that, that that police officer he would chase me around I'd run across field, pop up on another road, and he'd see me up there, come running over there, I'd pop over on another road. I used to do that all the time, and eventually then I'd take off, run through the fields and the woods and everything, and go over to a neighbor's house and throw it in a shed, and sit over there and we'd laugh, you know, and watch the cop drive by. He used to chase me all the time. <coughs> but, um, somebody left a comment about, I think it was about, when I used to peel her out with my mom's car and stuff. And that was uh, Maria Snoopco. It's not Shopco, Snoopco. S-N-O-E-K-O. Uh, she left a comment, but a real long comment, but said something about a wagon on a shed roof. And somebody, when she was younger, somebody put a wagon up on top of a shed's roof. This will help you understand where I came from. The story, I've heard this story. My father, when he was younger, he went he went off to, into the Marines and all that, and all that stuff. And he was uh, the Korea. And came back from that, married my mother, and he was still a young guy and running around, you know. And uh, he was kind of a fast racer type car driver guy, you know, back then and stuff. He'd rip around and everything else. Well, the police kind of knew him too. <laughs> so they decided to play a prank one time, him and a bunch of his buddies, on the police department. And the police building was like a two-story or three-story building. And so they decided to play a prank on the police department. There was probably, my guessing, probably, you know, two or three cars, four cars or whatever in this in this uh, police department was. It wasn't a huge place. And so what they did is they took apart an old Model T and they took it all apart and all the little pieces and parts and these things are Model A. I'm not, I'm not really sure which one it was. Model A or Model T. Um, it wasn't there. I just heard, I, I've heard the stories from my uncles. <clears throat> and they took this thing all apart piece by piece had it all sitting around the police building in pieces. 
And then my dad got into his car and ran out in front of the police department and started honking his horn and ripping around the block and squealing his tires and he kept driving past the police department. Well, he got to attention all the, all the police officers inside. They all came running out. It was probably like some old Benny Hill, you know, where they chased each other around to the, the English cops, you know, with their little sticks, you know. And uh, they came running out there, jumped in their cars, and he took off, and he peeled out of town, and he got all the cops to chase him, and they all left. And they followed him, and he took them all out of town and took them on a wild goose chase. And while they did that, his, his buddies took this car piece by piece, carried it up through the police department, up, up on top of the roof of this building, and popped it back together real quick. I guess they were so easy to put together or whatever. And they would pop this thing back together, and they had it up on the roof like that, and then they all took off. And my, my dad kept running through town or whatever, you know, and he would come by or whatever and see, you know, and they were supposed to signal. Like came through and then he flashed the light at him and stuff. You're good to go. So then he took off and left the cops and, and lost them. Well, then all the cops came back and went back to the police department and everything was all fine. It was dark out. <laughs> Next morning, the town wakes up and there's a car on the roof of the police department. That was my father. So now you know where I get that stuff from. So... Yeah. Oh boy, way station, two miles. This is the way station where John has gotten pulled in a few times. So let's hope it's better for me. for asking it but you know guys I never come by this scale ever I don't think I've ever been pulled into that scale or come through it or what and they got it kind of set up kind of weird they had two signs that said okay to bypass scale but then as he came out to the driveway it had an arrow pointing in there And I know John has gotten pulled in there. So that, you know, goes into record ADL. So I didn't want to go do a, I didn't want to bite the, you know, go flying by the scale and run the scale. I mean, that would have been bad. So I decided just to play it safe. I pulled it over on the, sh on, the on ramp from the scale. And I um, walked back up to the building and I walked in and I said, hey, uh, I just wanna make sure 
I didn't just blow this scale. And I said I had two signs that flashed that said, okay, to bypass scale. But then when I came up to the driveway, it had an arrow pointing me into the scale. Yup, yup, you're good. You can stay, just stay right on the interstate. I'm like, all right. I says, just a bit confusing. And he goes, well, what's confusing? I says, there's an arrow pointing me into the scale. Well, that stays on all the time. I said, well, <laughs> you know, it's pointing me to go into the scale. I said, like the other scales, I says, uh, you know, they come up to them. If they're open, they got an arrow, then you go in them. You know, I understand you guys got that little thing on a highway that kind of weighs the trucks or looks at the numbers or whatever and bypasses and lets you go up high, but I says, the last thing I saw was the arrow. And I says, I run off a pre-pass. I says, but Wisconsin doesn't want to do a pre-pass, so. He's like, nope, you're all good. I said, all right. I just want to make sure I wasn't going on the highway and then see the little lights. Give myself a nice little hefty, hefty fine. So we are all good. Have ourselves but it's 89 miles to go to our destination up here a marathon like i said i'm gonna stop off at fleet farm do a little shopping for a few things i want and then i'll head on up there i'll probably stop at a walmart too because my groceries are getting a little low so i'll probably stop in there head up there and the marathon place they actually have a I, I don't know if it's the same building that I'm loading out of what but out there west of Green Bay by marathon they actually have a truck stop just for it's right there on there it's the marathon truck stop or whatever it's it's actually the same company that that I'm picking up from so that's probably where I'll go tonight. Park there. Be right there. That way I don't have to... I can log out and save my hours. So I shall let you guys go. I hope that everyone out there is having themselves a beautiful day. If you are not, well, certainly can change all that. Try it all over again tomorrow. See you later. Bye.